world is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. All right, so before we get started, I do want to let you know a few things. For one, this is a collective reading. Okay, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Not every message is going to be entirely for you. So that is okay. If it feels weird, just, you know, let it fly. All right, and also I do energy here, not sex. So flip flop if you need, of course. I'll let you know the highest energy that I get depending on what we're gonna talk about um I have no clue yet I do feel like there's some sort of tension that needs to be released and I feel spirit brought me here to give you some clarity and some answers so let's get it let's go and guys this is marker don't get distracted by it <laughs> let me use my protection mist yes to protect us here during this space and time if you guys would like any spiritual goodies, I am burning my triple threat candle here. This is a candle to manifest. Bless. To manifest um, love, money, opportunities. It comes with a major arcana pendant, which can be used as a necklace. So cute. And a reading. All right. So every pendant has a story. And a reading that's associated with it. So it's like a triple threat. All right. So you get a good smelling candle. You get the manifestation. You get a necklace and a reading. Bless. That's available on my shop. Listed down below. Now, let's get it. Let's go. I hope you guys are good. Talk to me in the comments. How are you doing? Let's see what we got out here. Do, 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 do. All right. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, Yamaya, source. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for my beautiful souls who are here. What message do they need to hear? Why have you brought them here? Thank you so much. Bless. Shout out to anybody that is new. What's up, baby? Welcome to the family. If you like it here, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. You heard that little... Doo -doo -doo -doo? That's confirmation right there. <laughs> All right, become part of the tribe. All right, so let's see, let's see. Spirit, what is the message for today's reading? Thank you. Ooh, we got the moon, yeah. There's some sort of, like, unsure, uncertain energy right now. All right, you may be feeling like there's something weird, like a third-party situation is what I'm getting. Like, I'm getting... You and a friend, or this could be you and a friend, or you and a lover, or a family member, okay? Put it where it fits, of course. I'm seeing you and someone else, all right? Y'all on this path, and you feel like there's something following y'all. Like, something's, like, either, f like, someone's, like, lurking on your social media. Like, someone has some sort of hidden agenda. Who is this? Let's see. Clarify this moon for me, spirit. What is this? What's going on here? 
I'm getting like psychic dreams. Like you've been getting dreams about this, though. Whether you remember or not, you have been getting dreams about this. <clears throat> oh, it's about a soulmate. Yeah, I'm seeing you in a soulmate. And I'm getting like there's this shadow surrounding this connection. What is this shadow and what's going on with this soulmate connection? All right. Ooh. We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay. There's some mystery about money. Mm-hmm. The higher power is coming through. Your angels are coming through. I'm getting a connection to the marine kingdom. All right. So you guys may be very connected to water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You may be very attracted to the beach, ocean, rivers, water in general, fish tanks, those sorts of things, you know. I am seeing that. I'm seeing you and a soulmate. And I'm seeing like there's going to be unexpected surprises. We're going to see what this is. I have to clarify this. Mm hmm. I'm getting that something's lurking. I keep hearing lurking, lurking. Oof. The higher thing. Yeah, your guides, your angels, the highest power of all source is like, look, it's two people here. It's coming between two people in regards to some sort of shadow behavior or shadow energy. Look, yeah, this could be like a baby mama, a mother, um, a sister, a cousin, an auntie. This is a feminine energy, okay? Um, it could even be a male if they're very feminine, you know? Because energy isn't sex. But I'm getting like someone clingy, all right? There's something that you don't know about with your soulmate. And it has to do with this person. So let's see what this is. Clarify the moon for me, please, spirit. Clarify the moon for me. Tell me more about this. What's going on here? I'm getting a lot of mask energy. And I'm hearing um fu future. Yeah, I'm hearing future. Mask off. Mask off. All right. Yeah, like someone needs to take the mask off. All right. We have the six of wands. All right. So somebody's watching somebody. And they're, they're expecting this person to have a victory. Or they feel like this person, like you, could be very stable, all right? Very successful. Um, you could have just had, like, a victory, some sort of um, good news recently, all right? I'm seeing this person watching you. Like, they're watching to see, like, what you're doing. Yeah, this person, whoever this is, they're, they're having financial issues. And they're watching you because they see how successful you are. Ooh, yeah, look. I can't make this up. I can't make this up. All right. Ooh. Ooh, this is shady. All right. So this third party, let's just put it that way, right? Like I said, put it where it fits. Mama, auntie, baby mama, sister, cousin. This is someone that has shady energy. This person is very clingy with your person. Okay. This person is like attached. Like they want to be attached to your person's hip. Your person, I'm seeing that they're not giving their energy to this person. I'm seeing that they're actually mad at this person. They had some sort of big fight recently, all right, which may have led to, like, it may have been a fight over money, all right? Like, oh, you're not helping me. I'm struggling, you know? Like, they're struggling, and they thought they were going to have some sort of victory. And you're the victorious one. You're the stable one. You're the one that's shining, the one that's, like, going towards their goals, their dreams. You're aiming big, you know? This person right here has a lot of insecurities. And because of their insecurities and their codependencies, they don't aim big. They they don't feel like they could reach heights, like, higher heights like you do. Um, That's why they're watching you, because they're jealous, okay? And what I'm getting is that your person had an argument with this person. It got real violent, baby. Like, I'm talking about, like, like cursing, fuck you, stupid bitch, you ain't shit. Like, I'm hearing so many things, all right? It got real violent. Like, somebody we, somebody even tried to put hands on somebody here. Like, I'm getting, like, this person got so amped up, got so routed up. Like, they even tried to put hands on your person or they were trying to find out where your person was to put hands on them. Like, they got, this, this argument got violent, okay? This is different. Like, they're, with this Ten of Swords in reverse, like, their aim was to, like, have a reconciliation or or mend something here with your person, all right? And it has to do with online, too, because I'm getting, like, 
this argument also may have been about lurking online. Like, stop watching my social media. Stop watching my person's social media. Like, just stop lurking. Like, you mad annoying. You know, like, I'm hearing so many things, you know. And then this person's like, their aim, their agenda is to have an, a restart with this person. Whether that is romantic or whether that is just mending, like, matters. Because I'm getting, like, this did not end well. This did not end well at all. And this person is lurking, watching behind the scenes. Um, they're trying to, like, mend things with your person. And for whatever reason, they feel like, oh, because I'm not successful, because I'm not like like you, you know? Um, I'm not like dumb. Basically, that's what they're saying. Oh, because I'm not like dumb. You don't want to you don't want to fix things with me You because I don't have money. I'm not successful. I'm not victorious. I'm not, you know, shining like they are for whatever reason. They feel like you're shining. So some of you guys like have big clout or you have a big following or you're very successful. You have a good job. You have stability like a lot of people like you. And this bothers this person. So I feel like that was also incorporated in this argument. Like they were arguing like about oh like that person has like fake love like, like fake clout like you know they were bashing you to your person like they were talking mad shit and your person like wasn't trying to hear it and they weren't trying to come near this person either they were like no 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 this is too much noise is what i'm hearing too much noise too much noise all right so what about the soulmate talk to me about the soulmate spirit we have the high priestess okay so your soulmate is being protected, okay? Because this is soulmate energy here. Your divine partner is being protected from this karmic, okay? I'm seeing that. And it's like, I feel like you're aware of this. Like, either you heard this in a reading or you're a reader yourself. You're a high priestess, all right? You're very divine. You're very protected. But I'm seeing like you're, like, you may have even tried finding out answers, to this situation like you was doing your homework like you may have like heard wind or you may have intuitively felt like oh you know me and my person have issues now because of someone else you're 100 percent right because i see like you i see your person right your person made a poor decision which may have led to you guys having like issues maybe even a separation a distance and it didn't all have to do with them it also had to do with this other person but they didn't go about it in the right way and it affected your connection in one way or another. I'm getting like, mm, like they secretly was trying to give this person money or something. Like they were trying to support this person, but this person wanted more than just money. Like this person was basically making themselves like, oh, I don't feel good. I'm so lonely. I'm all alone. I don't have nobody helping me. Like whoever this person is, they put themselves in like a poverty type of image so that your person could feel bad for them so that they could swindle them for some money. But what I'm getting is that it didn't work out. But your person wasn't being honest with you about it. All right. They were keeping this as a secret. And intuitively, you know, like intuitively, you know, your person was keeping some sort of secrets. Ooh, something wanted to pop out there. All right. Talk to me about this lovers in reverse. Yeah, money. Like I see like your person was holding on to this secret because they were scared. They were scared to tell you. Or, like, yeah, this soulmate. Because soulmates sometimes aren't lovers. Like, soulmates could be friends. All right, but this person, whoever it is, has a lot of water in their chart. All right? Look, King of Pentacles in reverse. There was more than one one person here involved that has a shady energy. Uh-huh. I'm getting, like, a masculine now. All right, so this could be, like, a brother, an uncle, a grandpa, a, a homie, a friend. You know, we're going to see. I'm going to get more oracle cards out here. Well, this is tarot, so I'm going to get some oracle cards out here to get more details. But what I'm seeing is that, like, your person made a poor decision. One poor decision they made was trying to help this person, the karmic, financially, behind your back. All right. So they may have told you like, oh, I'm not dealing with that person or that person is like harassing me or something like that. Like mm, this person is on top of me. Like like it got to the point where they felt so suffocated that they had they it just boiled up to a large argument. Like I'm seeing a volcano exploding and all that. All right. So your person's decision was to hold this back from you out of fear they were scared to tell you the truth they try to emotionally manipulate you all right and also it had to do with like another masculine like a friend advising them to do this like somebody swindled them to make the wrong decision and that is keep secrets from you but you're the secret <laughs> like 
you're the secret, like, how could I put it? Like, you're the secret teller. Like, you know all secrets. Like, you don't you don't need to see the paperwork. You don't need to see what's going on. You already know intuitively what's going on. Like, you're doing your own homework behind the scenes. Um, whether that is spiritual or, like, literally on the computer. You know what I'm saying? So talk to me about the Six of Pentacles. What's with the Six of Pentacles here? Whoa, that's a lot. There's a lot of money secrets, okay? And I feel like for some of you guys, this had to do with a child. Could be a sibling or somebody's child. All right? Like baby mama, baby father type of thing, you know? Like your person was secretly giving. Look, secretly. Yes. They were secretly like either giving money or look at that. Yeah. Third party. Yeah. Your person. Listen, especially if you resonate with your person having a baby mama or a baby father. Um, your person was secretly giving gifts money to this person and they i'm getting that they weren't telling you about this because it's a secret like so maybe they were telling you like oh i'm not i'm not fucking with that person no more i can't deal with that person that's old news all right but this actually ended up being really bad all right with the three of swords the five of cups the two of pentacles your person was trying to juggle you and the karmic that's confirmation right there, okay? Your person was trying to juggle you and the karmic where they were playing both sides of the field. They were being, like, they were telling you one thing and they were telling them another thing, you know? And this karmic already had issues, you know, because they had no closure, all right? I feel like they, ha they didn't get closure from this relationship or this connection. This is a hurt person. You know, hurt people hurt people, right? So this person was trying to swindle your person for money and your person was juggling y'all. And I don't feel like it was romantic. I just feel like it was like hidden agendas, white lies, you know, like why weren't you just be why couldn't you just be honest about it? That's because your person was in denial about this other person. All right. There was many people involved in this. What in the world? Uh, all right. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of people involved here. A lot of people involved influencing in the in the worst ways. Woo. OK, so now they're sad. All right. I'm seeing your person sad down and now. All right. They were juggling. They thought they were like, I don't know, a clown, you know, because clowns juggle, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to offend, but that's how they were acting like they were a clown in a circus juggling balls and stuff. But instead of balls is people. And this hurt y'all because it didn't just hurt you. It hurt them, too. A lot of people, three people got hurt in this equation. Three people got hurt. You, them, and the karmic. Everybody got hurt. But there's a blessing behind this. All right? There is a blessing behind this. And I want to know what that is. I'm going to see what the higher power has to say because we have that here. All right, so talk to me. Clarify this, hier this hierophant for me, please. Like, your angels were like, uh-uh, honey, you're not about to sit here and play with my baby. Okay, we got the chariot in reverse. Yup, yup, exactly. Cancer energies. Mm. Yep, could have been a cancer. You heard that whistle. Mm -hmm. And a Taurus, because I'm seeing a Taurus. Strong Taurus and cancer energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pisces as well. Mm -hmm. Virgo as well. Your angels blocked this. Whatever was going on here, all right, your angels is blocking this from you. Like, your angels are very well aware of what's going on here. Obviously, they're above watching below, and they already know what's coming. Look, the five of wands in reverse. Yeah, this person, they were blocked because they were playing with you. My nose is going crazy right now. They were blocked from you, or there's some sort of blockage here between you and them because they were playing with you, all right? They were creating problems here. So the universe, your angels source block them from you you guys may be having issues like you know y'all not communicating or y'all not together um this may have caused some really big problems because it doesn't make sense it's like all right if there's no emotions involved why are you sneaking around you know if it's if it's healthy and genuine and there's no hidden agendas why sneak you know what i'm saying because i creep yeah, this person just wanted to creep on the low. They didn't want to tell you. They wanted to keep it to themselves. Now they want to compromise with you. They want to apologize to you for this rivalry. They they put this person against you in a sense because, all right, and I tell people this all the time, like if somebody's disrespecting your relationship is because it's being allowed. 
You know what I'm saying? So the minute this karmic, whoever Corella DeVille is, this person may have white hair or black hair. <laughs> Interesting. That came out. Um, whoever this person is, like the first the first moment they disrespected y'all connection, relationship, or whatnot, you know, your 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 friendship, um, they should have been shut down. But what I'm getting is that they were fake shut down. So they told you, yeah, I'll shut that down. I told that person about they self, you know, X, Y, and Z, blase blue. Yeah, look, this is someone um, that you may have grew up with or you, you, may have, you may go way back with this person or they may go way back and that's why they felt bad on the low, but they knew it was wrong and that's why they hid it from you, you know? They were telling you how they can't stand this person, this person is clingy, this person is annoying, this person is always looking for them, wanting to deal with them, something like this, you know? And the whole time, they were still talking to them behind your back. They had a whole different energy with them. So they, they kept the energy with you about them. And then when they faced them behind your back, they had a whole different energy. And I'm getting like this ended off very bad because with that Knight of Swords in reverse, honey, these are like, I, I feel like something happened out of nowhere. Something got exposed. All right. I want to talk about this Knight of Swords in reverse. Spirit, talk to me about the Knight of Swords in reverse. What led up to this huge fight? Because I'm seeing them having a huge fight. Okay, you. You. They had a huge fight over you. All right. Oh, my gosh. Give me more details, Spirit. Why were they fighting about them? Why were they fighting about my beautiful souls? What's going on here? Because of commitment. All right. So they were fighting over money. I don't know. I'm getting like... All right, so there's many scenarios coming out here. Your your person is a swindler, by the way. Like, they got the gift of gab. All right, what I'm getting is, like, they fought because your person, like, I'm getting them telling them, like, they're settling down with you or they're going to live with you or they plan to marry you. Like, they were saying something very good about you and putting you in a high light. And this person, y'all, did not like it. Mm -mm, this blew this person's mind. The karmic's mind blew up, like... With so much anger, this stressed them out. This gave them, ooh, ooh. This made them feel a type of way. I feel like they weren't being honest with the karmic either about how serious you guys are or how serious this connection is and what they see with you. And I feel like the minute they touched this topic and they started speaking nicely about you and where they want to go with you or what they want to do with you, you know, um, the karmic lost their mind. Look, the seven of wands with the ace of swords. Mm, they started cursing. They started verbally abusing each other. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Like, I, I get that your person told the karmic, like, that's it. I don't want to I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't want to lie to my person anymore. Like, I plan to marry this person. I plan to be with this person forever, you know, and the karmic. Oh, the karmic. Yeah, look at that. The karmic is codependent and I'm getting like a mom. All right. So the mom could have helped here, but the karmic is codependent of your person for some reason, whoever this karmic is, you know, they're codependent of your person and mm, they lied to them. And that's what they felt like, oh, you lied to me this whole time. Your person was telling them, like, I'm done. I'm done sneaking. I'm done creeping. I'm done, like, lying to my person. Like, I don't want to do this no more. They basically, like, started having a conscience, you know? Like, when they were doing this, they didn't think much of it. They were like, oh, well, you know, it's a little white lie. It's not a big deal. They're not going to feel a type of way. They'll get over it, you know? But, like, that's not what I'm getting. Like, you definitely did not get over it, you know? Like, now, you know what I'm saying? Like, now that everything's coming to light, like, you're not going to get over that. Like, you were lying to me for X amount of time. Like, let's see if we could see how long this was going on for. And what, what was going on here? Like, honey. All right, spirit, talk to me. Talk to me more about this situation. What else do they need to know? Ooh, you're psychic. Yeah, your third eye is so woke, all right? You have such a strong third eye. 
Yeah, you heard that? It confirmed it. You have such a strong third eye. You have so much wisdom within you. You have the ability to foresee things before they happen. And like you were you were you were picking it up. Like your intuition was picking up. Like, um, my person's acting real funny. And I feel like what they're telling me isn't a hundred percent true. Because y'all started having issues because they started feeling guilty about the lies. All right. They started feeling guilty. Look, haters, yeah. You have people watching you. Like, the karmic is definitely watching you because the the argument was about you, you know? So this karmic, they're keeping their eye on you heavy, and they envious of you. They wear, like, a fake mask. Like, they would even say hi to you and, like, want to chat with you and all this. Meanwhile, the whole time, they're like, fucking bitch. You know, no offense, you know, but that's exactly how it's coming off. This must have happened two weeks ago. Or you're finding out something about this in two weeks, all right? So either you're going to get the final pieces to the puzzle in two weeks, or you found out about this two weeks ago. There's big change coming in, baby. You're about to get your flowers, all right? With, the, with all them sunflowers, that talks about success, happiness, joy, all right? So don't worry. Like, this situation was meant to protect you. Your angels are protecting you here. They want you to know that for a fact, okay? Fear, scared. Look at your person. They're scared. You know, and with this image right here, I just made these cards today, by the way. And with this image right here, it's like they don't want to see what's next. They're so scared, super big scared about all this coming to light. And they're crying about it, too. They're crying about it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is like a hiccup card, but we're going to take it, I guess. There's some sort of bipolar issue here. So the karmic could have like bipolar issues or bipolar disorder. Root chakra. Okay, so your person's root chakra is definitely blocked. And you know, that's that root chakra that gives us like our security. So definitely there is a lot of fears here. This is connecting perfectly. The root chakra with, with the fear and scared. Yeah, they big scared, big, big nervous, all right, about things come into light because now that the karmic is not really playing nice, it, it could go both ways. You know, this person could like turn around and backstab them and blow up everything in their face. You know, something's coming through in spring. Okay. On YouTube. All right. So there's some sort of like, all right, these are, this is, this is specifically for my YouTubers. If you are a YouTube content creator, something beautiful that's going to blossom your life is coming in spring, all right? So in spring, is going to look up for my YouTubers, okay? Um, maybe for those who are not YouTubers, um, creators, maybe in spring you're deciding to um, open up your own channel, YouTube, bless. Welcome to the fam. We have Jupiter. So yeah, look, in the spring, Jupiter is the wheel of fortune, you know? So this talks about blessings, success, generosity. This is Sagittarius energy, by the way. This is luck, wind, good fortune. You're about to have some real big lucky break in the spring on YouTube. Wow, that's beautiful. God bless. We have damage control. Yep, now your person is trying to control the damage they created here with their lies. Wow. Because they find you so sexy. They can't, they can't, you know, like you, the, you so sexy, they can't let you go. All right. They're, they're coming up with some sort of great idea to clean up the mess. Mm hmm. They're super attracted to you. They can't, I'm hearing, you're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You be like heaven to touch. That's because you are heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. I ain't no singer, but that's that's the song they want to dedicate to you right now. That's Lauren Hill. Can't take my eyes off of you. All right, look at this. This card is very interesting. All right, so this is like kind of like my devil card. I didn't want to write devil, so I put low. Okay, but you see the little devil horns right here, and then you see... The, you see him with the angel. All right. So this is like a spiritual war right here. All right. This karmic has some sort of low vibrational energy. Look at God coming through like Scooby-Doo. Get off my baby. Okay. Get off my baby. The universe is over here grabbing this low vibrational person, this devilish person by the hand. And look at you chilling right there. Like, yep, I'm protected. You thought you was going to catch me? Think again. Okay. Yeah, because they almost caught you. They almost set you up for, for failure. They almost set you up to, like, like lose faith or, like, lose self, okay? But God, your universe, your angels, well, our universe, <laughs> the universe, our angels, they, they, they had your back. 
Look at you chilling right there. Like, ah, it's, this is nothing. Like, you can't touch me. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, my God. I love your energy. You can't touch me. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you can't. Oh, my God. It's an X. It's, it's an X. It's an X. All right, look. Look at the glasses. This ex is bitter, all right? Some sort of ex karmic, salty, bitter person is wearing a mask, and it was working for a little while for them, okay? But they they exposed now. They exposed. The mask has been taken off. You see, they were being nice. They were acting nice with your person to try to swindle them because they, they didn't want to finish this chapter with them. They wanted to have a new beginning with them, and your person was like, no. <laughs> and that's what caused the big argument. Aside from you, you know, being their person, we have divine feminine power, pal. This is superwoman, all right? So take it how you like. Um, but you are a divine feminine, okay? You have divine feminine energy. You have superpower energy, all right? Um, what that mouth do? <laughs> all right, look at the little ball here, Pokemon. All right, you you activating. You're very powerful, and this actually is giving you more power. And we have here, oh, this is my card. All right, it says I'm really a mermaid, with the little ocean inside this glass of water. Yes, you are connected to water. Drink more water is what spirit is saying. Okay. You are a mermaid or Aquaman, however you like to see it. <laughs> you are connected to the marine kingdom. Let's see if, what else I can get here. This is an unfinished lesson, all right? So there's more to come, all right? This is not the end of all ends here. Mm -mm. All right, somebody works in the... Mm. Somebody works in the medical field, all right? This could be a clinic, um, this could be a hospital, could be a dentist, could be a nurse, an RN. That is a nurse, right? Yeah. <laughs> a doctor or, yeah, just I'm getting the medical field, all right? Somebody works in the medical field, okay? Ooh, those fell fast. You have so many fairies around you. These are magical fairies that are protecting you, healing you. Look, look, leech. I told you they wanted money, okay? They wanted money. They were trying to take money from your person on the low low. Either they had their information, their card information, or they or they were like accessing your person's funds on the low. You see? She's like, shh. She's a leech. Dark magic. Oh, my gosh. Depending on what you believe in, you know what I'm saying? I, I know there is um, different forces out there, of course. This person is desperate, all right? They're so desperate. They out here trying to do some black magic, some dark magic on your person. This is a spiritual attack. You may have been feeling spiritually attacked, okay? And that's coming from this karmic because they hating, all right? We got um, prophecy. You guys have the ability to, whether you tapped into this or not, you have the ability to foretell the future, like I said. I'm getting like... Somebody has like an uncle or a daddy or a cousin or something that likes to drink beer that is kind of like, again, like this person is not healthy, okay? It, that That's interesting. And then we have I miss you, missed. Your person misses you so much. You have hand magic, by the way. We got New Jersey coming through. Somebody could be from New Jersey. And we have this rude boss, all right? So... <laughs> Where does this rude boss fit, okay? Do they work together? That would be very interesting. Your person could have been telling the karmic that, oh, I, I don't have money right now because of work issues. This could be a rude boss or they lost a job because of a rude boss or something like that. Like, they told them something like this, like something about work. Like, that was their excuse for not wanting to give them no more money. But the karmic wasn't trying to hear that. The karmic wanted money. Spirit is saying, look at the bright side. Keep it simple, all right? Just stand still. Spirit is saying, go on a little trip if you can. Keep it simple. Eat your fruits. Just relax. You're so protected. There's nothing you need to do here. You're going to have this big win, all right? So right now there is chaos, and I'm getting tendering, love bombing. Your person is, like, out here just acting a fool, baby. Okay, I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. With chaos, love bombing, and tendering, like, your person's online, um, seeking new connections, looking for company. This is like um, 
This is like I'm bored and I just want some entertainment type vibes. Yeah. And this is confusing and it's confusing them. They're in their low vibrational energy for sure. All right. They love bombing for a fact. So be very careful. <clears throat> I wouldn't believe everything this person says because they already been lying. They've been lying about either child support or some sort of money matters with this karmic, you know, feeding this karmic some sort of money. And now that they didn't want to do it anymore. And now this is why all these problems are rising, you know. And they're also lying about, like, their activities online, on their phone. They chatting. Mm-hmm. Look, they're a shapeshifter. One minute they're, they're one, di one minute they're this person, the next minute they're that person. So when they're with you, they're one person. When they're not with you, they're another person. Interesting. All right, you guys could have had pets together or you could have pets together, okay? More than one. I'm getting, like fur balls <laughs> with that picture there yeah look emotional cheating yeah there's no sex here all right so spirit wants you to know that but it still doesn't make it right they flirting and chatting with other people online you are a star seed that's why you could foresee the future that's why you're so intuitive that's why you have such strong gifts that's a big fact all right you don't come from this world we have cali in the building all right so somebody here could be from cali yeah, you have, oh my gosh, this karmic, and my nose just itched right when that came out. This karmic does not like you. This ex does not like you. They're a hater. They're watching your social media. They're disliking your stuff. If you have, like, content or I don't know how else they could dislike it. Maybe they're reporting your stuff. You may have seen, like, things get, sh like, taken down or shut off. Or I don't know. That's because they disliking it. All right? They see your stuff. They talk about you with their friends. They gossip about you. Like, they too invested with you, to be honest. All right? I see you and your person, y'all, meeting up in the 5D. You need my stress candle, okay? Because <laughs> you stress. This is a stressful situation. And spirit is bringing up my stress candle. That's my label for my stress candle. Listen, it comes in many forms. You could get, like, the melts, which are much cheaper. All right? There's a smaller candle. There's, um... The medium, well, not really. I don't have a medium one, do I? No, I have a large and a small. But point is, go check out my shop if you got time and if you can afford a candle right now, which I hope. All right, um, yes. I think you do. I think you could because you're successful. All right, it came out here that you're very successful. People are hating on you over your success. Okay, and you're very generous. But anywho, yeah, that's a suggestion. It's not necessary, obviously. But Spirit is saying you will benefit from my stress candle. It will relieve you from any stress you may be dealing with right now, like this. Right now, Spirit is saying to sit still. We got star seed again. All right, Spirit is saying sit still. Wait things out. Don't make any moves. All right, your blessings are coming through. Everything is going to fall on. It's going to fall in your lap. You're not going to have to do anything, basically, at all. But these people, honey, like, what's wrong with these people? Like, really, people really be acting like it costs so much to be honest. Like, it does not. You know, but they do it because they have their hidden agendas. You know, they want their cake. They want to eat it, too. And that's not healthy. But this is a wake-up call. I'm getting, like, your person waking up from this. Yes. Ooh, honey. All right, so, hmm. Let's see how we're going to wrap this up. You got new love coming your way. Aside from, like, your person, this person could be from the UK, all right? Somebody could be from the UK, but look at Cupid. He's bringing you new love, by the way, okay? Yes, Cupid is bringing you new love. For some, it's going to be on Instagram. Like, you're going to meet this person on Instagram or something like that. I'm getting, like, social media. But there is new love coming. Hmm? Get ready. I know, I know, I know. You may want your person, but... God doesn't make mistakes. Your angels are not going to make mistakes. That's why your person's being blocked from you right now for their, I don't want to say trifling, but that's how it's coming through. Like, they trifling ways, you know? OMG. All right, so let's see what we're discussing in the extended. All right, because I'm going to do an extended. That link will be down below for you. Okay. If you're interested, of course. If you want to join me, if you want to take a ride with me to the extended where we're going to talk more money. Nah. Oh, maybe we're talking about money. So what are we talking about in the extended? Thank you so much. Ooh, the world. Ooh, you are completing a cycle. You are graduating. Bless. Yes. All right. Ooh. All right. We got. Oh, y'all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
Your person feels stuck. They scared. They nervous. They have an anxiety over this situation because they feel like you're leaving them behind. They feel like you're closing the door and you're opening doors to new possibilities because you caught the lie. You caught them red handed in this lie. Whether you saw it for yourself, you saw it in a psychic dream or you just know intuitively or someone told you. But this is coming to light if it hasn't already. And I'm seeing like because of this coming to light, you made some sort of decision and whatever decision you made was the right decision because you passed the test. You guys were under a test. And now I see your person like scared. They feel stuck. They don't know what to do, you know, and here you are transforming into a new version of you. OMG, it's beautiful, by the way. And aside from that, like you're closing the door. So let's see. We're going to talk about this in the extended. Like, are you really like closing the door finito with your person um is your person gonna stay stuck are they gonna bust a move because i don't see them moving towards you i see them scared to come towards you and what does this new chapter look like for you because you entering a new chapter a new life very soon so we're gonna get into all this plus more in the extended we're also gonna do um let me get you a message now Woo! channel messages from your person all right so we're going to get a little messages there, you know? Well, a lot of messages, actually, in regards to what your person wants to say. So, Spirit, ooh, I love everything about you. I am going to kiss your ass. They're going to kiss your ass, all right? They know they fucked up here. Hello? You were a, be a rebound. So when they first got with you, this is why they were being deceptive, all right? Because when they first got with you, they didn't see you as, like, a forever thing. They saw you as a good time, you know? Like, ooh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting. I'm going to have a good time here because they love everything about you, you know? But then they started falling in love. Then they started feeling something they never felt with anyone else in their life. So they about to kiss your ass over this. I get jealous when you get a lot of attention, all right? And with you opening this door, you're about to get a lot of attentions. I'm scared of this connection. Mm. This connection shines light on their trauma, their shadows. And that's why it's so scary because you're a real one. They were dealing with a clingy, low self-esteem, little personality, like act like a child type person. You know, that's what they were dealing with before you. You're like a fresh breath of air. You're like daytime. That other person was nighttime. You know, it's like a whole big difference. They didn't know and they still don't understand how to operate within this connection. All right. Look at that. You told them that you don't plan to stay. <laughs> That's why they so scared. Yes. You told them I ain't staying with you. You out here selling dreams. I'm not with that. All right, so we're going to go and talk more about this in the extended, guys. Um, I love you so much. If you're joining me, the link is down below. I will be right there. All right, guys, it was so beautiful to have you here today. I hope that these messages helped you in any way, shape, or form. Please let me know in the comments down below. Let's chat. I'm sending everyone love, light, and everything nice. And guys, as a thank you, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. That helps me with the channel. I really do appreciate that so much. And if you're new, like I said, subscribe. Become part of the family. Not only do you get videos and shorts, but you also get an opportunity to win a prize. Every month, at the end of the month, I announce a winner randomly. This is a family member, a subscriber, you know? Someone that's part of the tribe here, the OGs. I randomly select the winner through the comments. I check to see if you're a family member and, you know, if you're randomly selected. And I bless you with a free reading and a box full of goodies from my spiritual shop. Bless. So all you have to do is subscribe, hit that bell button, and comment down below. That's it. It's free. Let's get it. Let's go. My OGs, you know what time it is. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the extended or in the comments or in the next one. And have a blessed day day night evening afternoon whatever time it is Mwah. deuces bless